Oh, that's so adorable. My 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 five year old had a. Uh, it, it wasn't like the full recital. It was a practice. And um. And my wife went to watch, and uh, he's doing he's doing violin, which is adorable. So she just sent me like a little video of him doing his little violin, and it's so cute. Oh man, adorable. All right, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Back to video games. Okay. Gamer bro for life says, devs, can you tell me why in this couple of years you're making games that are running good only on 4090s? Thank you. Um, so here's the thing, gamer bro for life. I love your name, by the way. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say something here. The dev may answer you in chat, but just in case he does it, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this out there real quick. The thing about games is that it's kind of like uh, I, I don't I can't really think of the best analogy, but let me explain it to you. Games have something called optimization, and optimization is the act of making your game run well on lower end systems. Optimization is something that you do when everything else is done because optimization is the finishing touch. It's what you do at the end because you know what's already there. You know that you're not adding anything else or at least not anything major. So you then optimize it as best you can. You can't optimize at the beginning because if you optimize at the beginning, then you'll add in a bunch of core stuff that will ruin your optimization. So you don't do your final optimization until the product is essentially almost done. That's why over and over and over again, when you see early access things come out that don't run well and people are super surprised, it creates this interesting dichotomy because in a normal situation, you would expect to pay for a finished product. But when you buy early access, you are intentionally buying an unoptimized product. So... The thing is, is this is where it gets a little hazy because one could argue if the devs are charging money, they should optimize the game at that point. And that's a good, that's a good argument. That is a good argument to have. If you're going to put a game out into the world that you expect people to play, you should optimize it up to that point to make it playable for the people giving you money. That's an argument. But game development overall the game will be developed quicker if they don't do that. So it's this double-edged sword. If they optimize a bunch of stuff now for us, then they will have to spend more time optimizing later because they're going to change and uh, edit and do a bunch of stuff anyway. So it's this weird, it's kind of like the same situation that MMO producers come into. Do you buy 10,000 servers for your launch even though you know you're only going to need 500 servers in two weeks? Like that's that like that's the same situation. Do you do you spend a lot of time optimizing now and waste resources but have a better EA experience or do you spend more resources making the rest of the game really good and saving the optimization to where it normally is at the end of the development process? So going back to your your question. Why does a performance suck? It sucks because they made the decision to focus their resources on the game and not the optimization right now. And that, now that you know that, unfortunately, you have to make the decision, is it worth giving them money right now? So that's, that's what it comes down to. Anytime you buy an early access product, you should ask yourself, is it optimized to the point where it will run on my computer? That is the first question you should ask. And if the answer is yes, um, then you buy it. But never expect an early access product to be optimized. That's not the world we live in right now. Should we? Maybe, but that's a different discussion. Wow. That's a different discussion. Um, the, the argument on if an early access product should be optimized is a completely different discussion. Um, but, but yeah, so that's kind of where we are with that. Anyway, that was a really long explanation. I'm sorry. That was probably that probably involved. <laughs> that was way more involved than you were probably asking for, but there you go. Yeah.
But it's, uh, the other interesting thing is how companies handle optimization during their EA is something that literally varies from company to company. Every company does it differently. It also depends on how much optimization a game needs, um, how intensive it is to optimize, like all sorts of things. Did Co miss the hundred dollar donation? I did. Give me one second. Let me let me beat this room and then we'll read it. Man, I am having stamina issues, and I don't like it. My other sword. Oh my god, he almost knocked my ass right off. My other sword had stamina on damage, which was. Re am I dead? Not yet. Now I'm dead. Okay, cool. Good talk. That 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 stretch attack there. I I swear when he sticks that stick out, they they, they like add length to his arm. Because you, I look at his model and I'm like, there's no way his arm is long enough to reach me. And then it like reaches through the back of my head, and I'm like, oh well. Yes, that was wrong. Hmm. Yeah. Did I finish the Fallout TV series? I did. I loved it. Yep. Loved it. He just wanted to reach out and touch Faith. Uh, you listen here with your shirt and your face, sir. Stop making sense and feed your mods. Momo Onos with the $100 tip to the mod team. Thank you. Quick reminder that all tips to this channel go to the mod team, as they have for years now. Big thank you to everyone who does tip our mods, as they're amazing and keep this channel running smoothly. So thank you to them. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, the mod said, uh, uh, Pat said, well said, we're currently optimizing with our hot fixes while trying to retain the quality that you all love so far. Well, there you go. Cool. So they're, they're doing what optimization they can for us right now. Why am I not getting the option to backstab him? Oh, I saw it for a second. I'm seeing it, it's in there. There it is. That's what we're talking about. Bam. I'd love to see it. All right, we don't have enough to wombo him. So we'll try to do this again. If you hit him twice, he gets you. Stop hitting him twice, Mr. Ko. Really? Marty Max on gear again? Damn, we're getting a ton of gear, dudes. Uh, let's delete any low tier stuff. Uh... We're gonna enchant all this when we get back. See if any of it's any good. Is this Crucible? Yep. Yeah, Crucible's awesome. That guy, however, is not so awesome. <laughs> I love how I bent down to pick up that item and avoided the fireball going right over my head. You love to see it. Bro, I was spinning. Dude, I'm finding every possible way I could die in this game. 
So I started doing my spinning move, which meant I couldn't, I can't, I don't think you can dodge out of that. So it was, I was just dead. I used that move first and I died. <laughs> go sell. Good call. Let's do that. Let's go sell. Try to kill the boss on the horse? Yeah, oh, I'm trying. We've, we've tried him one time and I got him to like, I got him what? 15% down if even. And then I died to a fireball that clipped me. Fight seems awesome though. I felt the off. The worst part is I'm not gonna beat this fight today, which means I'm gonna be playing this game for another day. I just can't quit this game, chat. What the hell, dude? <sighs> so annoying. Uh, okay, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Stamina regen by nine, but it's cloth. We don't want. Um, don't need the two hands. We'll sell those. We need the silver. So we'll sell those for sure. Sell you, sell you, sell you. I'm going to pull the stuff out of both of you. Uh... That's not bad, but I need the stamina. Um, stamina regen seven. No. 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 Okay. Good talk. All right. So uh, we're going to do runes. Gonna pull out evasive strike and slashing pirouette. There's no way to enchant a gold item, is there? I just realized I I have gotten like two gold items this entire game. I think like I, I I have not gotten many gold items at all. Oh no, you can't enchant gold items. Okay, maybe they maybe they drop off the boss of the. Uh, Thing we're doing now. Warriors only as good as his weapon. Some of the cons of the Stellar Brave reviews are dull characters. I feel like they could have kept the attractive tone but made much better designs. They look like parodies. Oh, well, I mean, I feel like I feel like that would have happened regardless. Unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, it's 3% extra health, though. And 22 extra plague damage. Okay. Greetings, warrior. Uh, now I'm a little torn, chat. I don't know. I felt the I think I think we may have to try this sword. Yeah, I hate to say it, but I think I think we're gonna have to try that sword. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I I got to the I've gotten to the, the boss one time. So wait, we're gonna need First, do we need Oops. Good day. Do I need copper first? How much of these a piece? 128? Okay. Um Hmm. How do I want to do this? I guess I could just sell some of these real quick.
I need I need to think about like what what do we want to sell that is easy to replace, like super easy to replace. That's what we sell that. Okay. I have one already, right? Okay. Two ten is what we need. Uh I don't want to sell any food. I could sell my own sword, my old sword. That would do that. Okay. I need one, one bit more. Sorry, fire swipe. Wait. Nice. All right, there we go. All right. So it's doing plague damage. Um, Nothing sings like steel. What gem do I want to put on this? Oh, that looks so badass. Yeah, what gem do I want to put on this? You think? I fell. Oh wait, this isn't the gem person. Is it? Was that the gem? wait? Who's the gem person? Is it this guy? Where did I? I thought that was the gem person. It is her. Yeah, where are her gems at? She doesn't sell gems anymore? What? Really? So where do we get gems? You dig them up really fast now? But there's no dig spots in the crucible. <laughs> no. I really, dude, okay. Honestly, I think they should strongly consider putting in dig spots, mining, and harvesting in the crucible thing. Like in the first few levels, make it T1, the second few levels, T2, the last level, T3, and then the boss. Like, or something. I think that could be really cool. Because the thing is, is and, and here's another thing to consider. Especially if, like, let's say the game is in 1.0. If you do the cruise, you don't you don't necessarily want the player to have to decide: Do I want to do end game, or do I want to do end game farming? Like, generally, you want your end game and your end game farming to be the same loop because that way you're progressing while challenging. Like, it's it's awesome. It's kind of weird. Like, right? If they keep it how it is now, I would have to actively decide to go do farming in areas that I don't need anything in. I'm, I'm done. I've done all the quests, done everything. I could do the dailies and stuff. But then, like, I'm, I'm, you know, anytime I spend doing that, I'm not spending progressing in the Crucible. So that, And that feels a little weird, because obviously the best stuff for me to progress to right now is the boss of the Crucible. So, yeah, I, I don't know. That feels a little counter, counterproductive. A little cannibalistic. Of player time. Still getting XP though. That's true. That's true. Still getting XP is true. Oh wait, you already did it. We're good. All right, let's try this sword out and see how we like it. <clears throat> also, going back to farm T1, doesn't it rescale back to your level? So it's not like you can just breeze by the mobs. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Yep, everything scales to your level. So, which which is both good and bad. It's bad because that means you can't go farm easily, but it's good because that means you're constantly getting XP and getting gear your level. So you know it's little little give take. Look. Looks like it's time for a drink. I don't think I've ever been womboed in a way that that like that was that was just that was incredible. All three of them had moves that just they were using like I don't even <laughs> I don't that's just that's just I don't even have words. It's just terrible.
Not even mad, just impressed. I'm not even mad. Yeah, exactly. I'm just, I'm impressed. I got so owned. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just impressed. This warping guy is the worst, dude. Making it so these guys can warp away from you and then put them with a bunch of other enemies. That's just, that is next level jackassery. I love it. I just tried to attack the top guy. It auto-targeted the other dude, so I hit his shield. Oh my god, dude. This is... Ah! This is so annoying! Okay. <laughs> and then I get hit by that little... That little... Arguably the worst attack in the whole entire freaking game. That little push attack into a heavy. Hmm. Yeah, there's some serious balancing that needs to be done for some of these mob combinations. Doesn't look like the sword is working out too well. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. It's not. It's not doing what I. Well, I, I mean, honestly, I don't even think my. I don't think my other sword would have done much better here either. Still didn't feel good. Uh, okay. Mm. Hey, Dory Bishi, what's up, buddy? How are you? This tree makes me think that the items in here are supposed to be harvestable. Just for some reason, they're not flagged as such. But then again, I don't see any mining spots or dig spots, so maybe that one was just... Maybe they forgot to turn that one off? I don't know. Oh god, this area. Two ground people, a giant people, and a caster. Dude, I don't know why the other guy didn't attack me, but I am thrilled. <laughs> I am thrilled by this outcome. Uh, okay. Is this game single player? This game is single player for now. Uh, they, the devs have said that they do want to get co-op in at some point during the early access. The early access um, period. Hey, Chad, I got a question for you. Just a general question. How do we feel about dodging off ledges? One. When you dive, when you dodge off a ledge, you fall. One. Two. When you dodge towards a ledge, you dodge into the ledge, but when the dodge ends, you stand on the side of the ledge. One or two. Dodge off the ledge one or dodge to the ledge two. What do you think? 
Currently, we're at 160%, 233 percent Okay, so two-thirds of you prefer to dodge off a ledge. Good to know. I was kind of curious about that. I personally think I'm 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 okay with it too. Um, I think you can get a little spammy. Otherwise, I guess is a way to say it. It also makes it obviously significantly harder. So, but yeah, appreciate it, chat. I love that I can ask a question like that to 9,000 people and instantly pull out, like, interesting information from you. Thanks, chat. Is it a skill issue? Completely, 100%. Yes. Mm-hmm. No, we do not need that. All right. We continue. I'd say this sword is comparable to my last one. I, I will say that I'm really feeling that, that lack of stamina regen. I'm, I think I'm going to keep rolling swords. I do want to see if we can get the god roll of stamina regen and health on hit. Because I feel like that, that really is where it is right now. If we could get... I think I think the best thing we could get is attack steal extra physical damage. Because that means that we could use a, a gem of an elemental type or a consumable of an elemental type. Uh, gain 3% health on damage dealt. I think there's a, a like 14% chance on damage dealt to regain stamina. And then the thing we probably want is the downside is like experience gain less or something. Health decreased by 20 is rough. For that alone, I probably want to get rid of the sword as fast as I can. Health health down 20. That's rough. That's rough. That's real rough. So, yeah. The sword is okay, but it was it was a it was a lateral move. This was not an upgrade. Kill your friendo? That's gonna be the most awkward work Christmas party. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. A lot of good stuff there. We actually opened the door? We did. Great. Okay. Yeah, level 30 is max. Every, everything at, 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 at end game right now is just, you know, it's, it's jokes. Because, I mean, obviously this is this is the mid game that our end game is right now. So, you know, there's there's no balancing or there's, there's nothing going on right now that... Yeah. I'm guessing level 30 is not the max level of the end of 1.0. Dude, that blade looks so badass when it's swinging. 